In the last lecture, we dealt with numerics, and we're going to continue on with that subject in this video. And it's a good time to talk about the arithmetic operators in Python that you can use with numerics. So you can see here I've defined two variables that hold the two integers that we're going to use with all of these operators. So I've defined a variable that holds 5, and I've defined a variable that holds 2. And so we're going to start out with this first arithmetic operator, the addition operator. So we're going to start out with a very simple addition. So let's go ahead and execute that, and we should get 7. And then let's just run through some of these top ones very quickly here. Let's go ahead and do a subtraction, and we'll re-execute this, and we got a 3, what we expected. And then, of course, we can multiply our numbers as well. So let's go ahead and do that, and we'll just re-execute this, and we get 10. And then let's go ahead and divide our numbers, and we'll just re-execute this, and we get 2.5. Now, here's the first one that we want to really focus on, the floor division. Now, you'll notice that we got a decimal here, and of course, that is to be expected when you're dividing 5 by 2. But what if you wanted to drop that decimal point? Well, that's where this floor division comes into place. So let's go ahead and just specify that right here, and let's re-execute this, and take a look at that. It dropped the decimal point. So this is useful if you want to deal strictly in whole numbers. And another point I want to make is that it always rounds it downwards, not upwards. That's a key, key point. So if we actually make this 11 and 3, and then we'll just do a simple division again. Let's execute this. And you can see here we got 3.6666. Now you might expect it to round it up, but as I said, it will round it down. So let's go ahead and specify the floor division here, and we should get a 3. Let's execute that, and you can see we got a 3. So just remember that when you're using this in the future, it always goes downwards, not upwards. Now let's talk about the modulus. Now this can be confusing when you're first exposed to this, but it's actually quite simple. And actually what you use this for in Python is basically to determine if a number is odd or if it's even. And again, this will make sense in a few minutes. So let's go ahead and specify the modulus here, which is basically a percent sign. And then let's go ahead and execute this. And we got a one. And the reason is because the five is divided by the two. So basically, the 2 goes into the 5 once with 1 left over. So that's how it works. There's only 1 left over. So this might actually be simpler if I put a 100 here. Now, we know that 100 is divided by 2 equals 50, but with nothing left over, right? Let's go ahead and execute this, and we got a 0 this time, right? But let's say we specify a 101 here. Now we should get a 1, because we know 2 will divide into 101 once with 1 left over, because this is an odd number, so it's not a perfect division. So let's go ahead and execute that, and you can see that's exactly what we expected. Now let's put 102 here. Now we know this is going to be an even division, so there should be nothing left over, right? 102 divided by 2 is 51. But remember, we're just getting a 0 or a 1. That's all you can get. And remember, a 0 is used for an even number. So let's go ahead and execute this and take a look. We got a 0. See how this is working now? Let's go to a 103. So we know 2 will divide into 103 once with 1 left over. And since this is an odd number, we should get a 1. Let's execute this, and we got a 1. Well, let's go to 104 now. And let's see what we get. Now we know this is an even division, so we should get a zero. You get the hang of this? It's very simple. And as I said, Python programmers use this to determine whether a number is even or odd. It's a nice, easy way to determine that. Okay, so now let's take a look at exponents. So let's actually set this back to a five, and we got our two right here. And then we'll go ahead and put two multiplication signs. And I think you probably already know what exponents do. Or simply put, it is how many times we have to multiply a number. And in this case, we're going to multiply 5 twice, and we should get 25. And that's exactly what we expected. Now, what if we do a 6? We should get 36. So this is rather easy to use. Okay, that's going to do it for this lecture. In the next lecture, we're going to start to take a look at lists, which is a very, very important subject when it comes to Python. See you in the next video.